Yes? I fail to understand the problem. I had heard the Corward systems had customs concerning modesty, but when training, such customs are not practical or efficient. So you've returned. While I was disturbed that you chose to defy our orders and obtain transport off Citadel Station, the matter has since been closed. It was the decision of Republic authorities that your testimony would no longer be necessary, unless you'd be allowed to go. But as we discovered, you had already left. In some ways, it was lucky for us, avoiding a possibly embarrassing situation. Why does the Republic do anything? The head doesn't know what the feet are doing. The hands don't even know they've got fingers, let alone where they are. My opinion, they probably performed their independent investigation and figured it wasn't your fault. Anyways, you should just be glad I decided to overlook the fact you escaped arrest. Yeah, yeah. And if there's nothing else, I've got a job to do. What is it? I see. And where and when did you kill them? That fits with what we gathered from witnesses and the few security recordings we could find. Though I'm embarrassed we let the criminals escape, I'm glad you found them. Here it is. I think you'll find the amount more than adequate. The TSF once again thanks you for your cooperation.
Donos Imaragith. Donos Imaragith. Wanna rock on a ch- I'll check it again, it can't be anything else. Just check the damn connector. I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you. Because I don't like droids. They break. In the head. Well, whatever you call that thing on your... head. Yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. Don't you ever give it a rest? Fine, don't mind me. I just need to get some stuff from the cargo hold. You know the first tier of styles, but you're holding back because I am unarmed. Tell me where you were trained. What can I say? I'm a quick study. You lie. Few know the Ichani styles by reflex. Oh yeah? Guess you saw a lot of the world while you were freezing your cargo hold off in the Ice Academy. Didn't you, sister? Next time I walk in here, I'm carrying a blaster. Oh yeah, one other thing. Don't think I haven't noticed the way you've been sparring with our ex-Jedi friend. This isn't some pleasure yacht. So if I did know all the Achani movements, I might know more than just the first tier, including the etiquette rituals. So keep your hands where I can see them. Fool. Shut up.
Well, this is Onderon. It looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. We've taken some hits. We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to use our hull for target practice, I doubt they're just gonna forget us. Well, I don't like it. Onderon is about as far from the core as you can get and still be in the Republic. But even out here, the locals have heard of us. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. He fought here once, and there are things here he must see. He fought here? Why didn't he say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget?
The orbital fighting just ended. That Colonel Tobin stirred up a Minox nest when he took a shot at us. I'm still working on the repairs, and I have to take down some systems, including sensors. So you have to do without me for a while. I know, you're crushed. Donos Emeragith, wana rakorachi drumka sa inchobin sasha. Dosi mana rochata. The random of Sibu and Dasarans, Krena Sukum Ratungala, Chawi Moju Kosoracha. Fet Kolema Rayam Ga Wata Sito in Sula Raka Rakachata. Tamaso Kin Chuda Wanka. Mopilo Tawana Sichukoratawa. Donos Emeragith, wana rakorachi drumka sa inchobin sasha. Dosi mana rochata. Donos Emeragith, wana rakorachi drumka sa inchobin sasha. Dosi mana rochata. Donos Emeragith, wana rakorachi drumka sa inchobin sasha. Dosi mana rochata. Moka kama ran endoso ran with no chabi. Tu ran tamana sobu. Febko emaream ga wata situ in sula raka raka chata. Tamaso kin chuda wanka. Mopigo na wala si chukora tawa. Moka kama ran endoso ran with no chabi. Tu ran tamana sobu. Tarana mo sibu in dasarans. Krema sunkun ratungala. Chawi mo jubu in kosoracha.
let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. is follow us as our guest or see how Mandalorians have earned their reputation. work in space. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. They're scattered, perhaps, but we're still alive. Alive and rebuilding. This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. Covert camps are not meant to attract attention. 
Because we conquered them, the people of Onderon still hold a grudge against the Mandalorians. So we keep our presence here a secret. So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. Figure it out yourself. Ask around. See if you can make yourself useful. Or something that'll show what you're made of. There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you'd have to do is flip a switch. You asked if there was anything you could do, and I told you. Nothing in this jungle is as simple as it seems, though. We were trying to uncover the entrance to a hidden cache of old Mandalorian equipment. The explosives should be easy to find. Just get to it before the Canucks do. The last months before Duxon fell, the old Mandalore knew that Revan and the Republic were gaining the upper hand. He ordered our best engineers to hide caches of weapons and munitions throughout the moon, safely away from the enemy's hands. Don't you think they tried? It's real easy to hide things in a jungle. Even when they found some of our caches, our engineers left them some presents. They're not much more than a couple of plasteel cylinders. Before you get any bright ideas, if you uncover cache B-13, leave it alone. Even if you survive the traps, it would require military-grade explosives to open without the proper access codes. What's inside belongs to the Mandalorians. Canucks are nothing more than pests, but they have a real talent for screwing up plans. Just get to those explosives in the next day or so, and you'll be fine. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. What do you want? Alright, stand back. Let's see if that... Sith's blood! Fixing anything in this rot-infested place is an uphill battle. This jungle attacks anything made by man. Restoring the generators and computer systems is no easy task. I'll take whatever help I can get. Whatever wires and tech haven't been corroded by the jungle are at least ten years old. What's the problem? I'm trying to get the relay dish operational, but several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention, and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. Oh, it seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. I can take a look at it, if you will permit it. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. That part's rare enough in most spaceports. Finding one here would be difficult. We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming Canox ain't it. That's a problem with Canox. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance. But if you turn your back on the pests, they'll eat anything they can get in their mouth. 
Just gut. Every canok you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. We checked the cash manifests, and that's the only one that was in storage. It's probably the only working converter on this moon. They're vermin, and no challenge for a Mandalorian. Since they provide no sport, we ignore them. Just gut every canok you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. All right then, come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. Our battle circle. You should leave us. This place is for Mandalorians alone. Even if the sergeant lets you fight with us, you will never truly be one of us. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. You always had hidden strengths. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross blades with you in the battle circle. Oh! Ah! 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 
This is not a battlefield, Jedi. If it were, I trust you wouldn't have the same opinion. I prepare and train, readying my mind and weaponry for a real challenge. Peace is not our natural element. Mandalorians handle it differently. I focus on educating myself in the martial techniques I will need to succeed in the next war. No. It is up to the sergeant. The battle circle was not designed to settle petty vendettas and rivalries. Its primary purpose has always been teaching. Learning from books or holobits is useless when battle rages and soldiers are dying around you. Real knowledge can only be gained through combat. Perhaps we can learn from one another in time. So, the Jedi comes to grace us. The battle circle is reserved only for real warriors. Your Jedi ways won't help you here. The battle circle is only a small part of our training regiment. A full Mandalorian warrior is a master of many fighting techniques. And here, all of them are tested. If you were to compete, you would have to do so on our terms, for that is the way of the battle circle. Those with great honor decide the terms of engagement. Jedi rely too much on their vaunted powers. They lose touch of the power of their arms and feet. Without your force, would you be a match for even the lowliest of Mandalorian warriors? If you want to try and fight us on our terms, that can be arranged. We are not merchants. We are Mandalorians. The only thing gained and lost here is honor, and perhaps some skill, if you have the capacity to learn. Be careful when you ridicule a Mandalorian. If Mandalore hadn't ordered us to... Is there anything else you want to talk about? You are new here, so you will fight Davro. He is young and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Devril, what are your terms? No weapons, no Jedi tricks, and no items. Just fist and foot. A true test of strength. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death. Blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience a true fight. The match between Jedi and Davril is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. Davril is just a recruit. I'm not surprised you won this fight. A challenger has expressed interest in fighting you. As little honor as you have gained, it is sufficient to accept his request. Let me know if you would fight again. Here to watch a fight or to participate. After defeating Davro, you have gained some small honor. There is a challenger for you. He is Kex, the quartermaster. Since he is the challenger, you get to choose the terms. As quartermaster, he has little opportunity for any glory in training. He isn't as skilled as Davro. I will send a runner to Kex. Prepare yourself for your fight, Jedi. The match between Kex and Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. Here to watch a fight or to protect. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagrin, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like you fight with Devril. Nothing else. Tagrin chooses to fight hand to hand. Remember, no weapons allowed, and absolutely no use of your force. The 
match between Jedi and Tagrin is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have fought well today. The only Mandalorians left for you to fight are our champions. No one can fight a champion until they have proven themselves worthy. And it must be real proof. The kind you gain fighting foes to the death. And a champion must observe and deem your actions worthy. There are two champions in the camp, Braylor and Kelborn. Until you prove yourself in their eyes, the battle circle is closed to you. You have prowess in battle, this cannot be denied. But your Jedi teachings prevent you from having a true warrior spirit. Jedi couldn't have beaten us in the Mandalorian Wars. It took a fallen Jedi to gain that on us. circle. Save it for someone else. So why are you back? my request? 
I want to fight here, in front of other Mandalorians, to prove my worth. Do not shame me further. There were no wars to fight, no great enemies to destroy. I wish this was a different age, where our armadas were a force to be feared. I was too young to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. With our clan scattered, there was no opportunity to prove myself. Years ago, young Mandalorians would fly point in a basilisk, laying waste to anything before them, at the forefront of battle. But this has been denied me. What little honor I have earned, you stripped from me in the battle circle. This I won't allow. You would deny my request? I want to fight here, in front of other Mandalorians, to prove my worth. Do not shame me further. Then you dishonor me again, Jedi. One day we will meet again. Next time, you will not have a choice. smaller ones still infest the paths. Mostly Canucks and Malras. Deeper in the jungle there's Boma beasts, and they're a little more sport. Little pests. They'll eat anything they can fit in their mouths. So don't leave any gear and supplies lying around, unless you want them to end up in a Canuck's belly. They aren't very aggressive, though. Just don't get too close to them, and they'll leave you alone. Malras are aggressive. But hardly a challenge for a real warrior. They're pack hunters, though, and dangerous in numbers. We try to thin their herds pretty regularly. Bomas are tough and fiercely territorial. Whenever we drive them off, they just come back to reclaim their grazing lands. We can handle them, but they may be too much for you. See that boma over there? The force flows through even these simple creatures. If you empty your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They are fully formed, basic instincts, urges, dominated by every breath and every moment, primal and unsophisticated. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients. But you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its consciousness, yes, like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it. Make it with care and subtlety.
you came close, and you have potential. With practice, you can make any animal passive and pliable. But the cage around their perceptions is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence, especially. With the force, anything is possible. But that is the end of the lesson for now. Oh, my God. 
I didn't want to talk about the war, but can I ask you something? Why did you decide to fight? The war went poorly before Revan and the Jedi lent aid to the Republic. Many of us believed the Jedi to be cowards who were afraid to face the Mandalorian threat. I remembered when word of the Mandalorian attacks arrived on Iridonia. My people had colonies across the Outer Rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I wanted to destroy them. To give them the mercy they gave the people they conquered. I remember the thrill I felt when we fought them in battle. Victories were rare, but we celebrated every Mandalorian's death. Do you know how it felt? I couldn't do that. It was almost as though the battle took control of me, drove me forward. It's always on my mind now. That loss of control blinded me, turned me into a weapon. I just needed to get that off my chest. Was there something you wanted me for? Yes, General? Yes? and uncovering the caches, if they exist. This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. When I finished setting the charges, I looked down to see Canucks swarming all over my pack. The pests were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack, so I've been up here, weaponless, for two days. If you take care of the Boma Beasts, I can make it to safety. Your actions are worthy of a Mandalorian. Return here when you have slain the beast and I will be able to return to camp. charges.
I am a Mandalorian scout. I don't go on it. Mandalore sent me out here personally to track a ship that landed in the area. No, it wasn't them. That ship was damaged and screaming its ID signature all the way down. This one was trying to slip in quietly, and it was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Our sensors almost didn't pick it up. Just this corpse here. Looks like a scout, and pretty green, too. The fool walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? Squeamish? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not planning on killing them unless I have to. But people do have a habit of shooting at Mandalorians on sight. If so, I wouldn't mind a good fight. There's more of these scouts in the jungle. There's many paths and I don't want them to slip by. If we split up, we should be able to find their scouts. If you're up for it. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. What happened to Lon? He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canox. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not... Hey! Did you hear that? That's him! Get him! Set the staging camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack!
grateful for your help, stranger. I am returning to the Mandalorian camp now. I won't forget this. I have only one request. Please, don't mention this incident to anyone. Even though Mandalorians were your sworn enemy, you would still save one in need? You are a perplexing man, Exile. I will have to think on what you said. more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? I'm surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Hmm. I'm not surprised. He was probably acting on orders from Vaklu. If so, you've made some dangerous enemies. 
General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian Wars. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. They're Onderon military, although they were trying to be secret about it. I've got a feeling you're going to need all the help you can get. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp. Jungle is a living thing. That detonation will have repercussions.
head out into the jungle. Any progress with the repairs or the phase pulse converter? You do? Let me see. I don't know how, but these pieces look in good enough shape to repair. I'll have the telemetry computer repaired in no time. I'll be sure to tell Mandalore how much help you've been. I know you didn't ask, but here's a reward anyway. Mandalorians are expected to do anything they can to help, but you're a stranger, and you didn't have to help us. All right, if you say so. Again, you have my gratitude. Any pro- You managed that? I thought that was a lost cause. Now if I can only get the phase pulse converter and the power working, the sensors will be operational again. Any program- You managed- Now if I- Thank you. 
Kelborn said you dispatched some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. Zuka told me you helped out with some repairs around the base. I was hoping you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber, but it's certainly a great help. Zarga told me that you returned one of our sheep to the herd. You have gained some small prestige by helping Kumas. How many Kanaks did you have to kill to find those parts for Zuka? That was a tremendous help. I won't forget it. You've made quite a reputation around here. You did better than I thought you could. I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow, but I'll move up the timetable and take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. I know, it made quite a racket. Good work. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone makes loud noise in their territory. It wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? You're alive, in one piece, and learn something about the beasts of the jungle. Are you ready to go to Isis?